39 conglomerate family members and celebrities face penalties in a government crackdown on underreporting foreign real estate investments. The Bank of Korea has announced another cut to the key interest rate. The base rate is dropped to the 1% range for the very first time. And the newly designated K-Star Road will soon open in the Gangnam District, where Korea's top talent agencies are clustered. Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Friday, March 13th. I'm Luke Clary. We begin today's show with a crackdown on wealthy Koreans who failed to properly report their foreign real estate transactions. A total of 39 conglomerate family members and celebrities will be sanctioned for their violations. A news exposed team at KBS obtained records of real estate purchases by wealthy Koreans, including family-owned conglomerate group members. They bought and sold properties such as resorts and shopping malls, but did not properly report to authorities about their real estate possession or foreign exchange revenue. The Financial Supervisory Service held a sanctions deliberation committee meeting on Thursday and finalized measures to impose sanctions on 39 conglomerate group figures and celebrities on charges of violating the Foreign Exchange Transactions Act. They are confirmed to have engaged in illegal forex transactions worth a combined $40 million. Among those sanctioned are relatives of LIG Chairman Koo Jawon and Koo Mi Jung, sister of LG Group Chairman Koo Bon Mu. Founding Chairman of SM Entertainment Lee Soo Man and others are known to be notified to the Financial Services Commission, or FSC, for levying of fines. The FSC will finalize the degree of sanctions on these individuals later this month. Violators of the Foreign Exchange Transactions Act prior to February 2009 are subject to suspended monetary transactions for at least six months. Violators since this time are subject to fines. South and North Korea have been at odds recently over the North's unilateral decisions at the Gaesong Industrial Complex, such as raising workers' wages. The North says it will proceed with implementing the changes because... It has the legislative power to amend its laws. North Korea has officially announced that it intends to proceed with the implementation of new labor regulations at the Kaesong Industrial Complex. The North recently raised the workers' wages and enacted a new stipulation on detaining entrepreneurs at the inter-Korean industrial park. Pyongyang says there's no reason whatsoever to discuss its legislative power with Seoul because the Kaesong industrial region is its sovereign territory. The North also added that it has the legal right to amend its own laws without being subject to negotiations. The North stressed that it would be wrong to maintain the workers' wages at their current level because it has been 10 years since the Kaesong industrial region opened and the workers' skills and productivity have improved since then. Pyongyang also said that if Seoul is genuinely concerned about the globalization and development of the industrial park, it must first lift its sanctions on inter-Korean exchanges. In other words, the North wants the sanctions to be lifted as a precondition for dialogue. South Korea reiterated its stance that the North's unilateral changes to labor regulations at the inter-Korean industrial park were unacceptable. The Bank of Korea has announced another cut to the key interest rate, explaining that more monetary injection is necessary amid the sluggish pace of economic recovery. With the latest cut, the base rate has dropped to the 1% range for the very first time. The central bank's cut in the key interest rate was unexpected. The Bank of Korea's rate-setting committee on Thursday slashed the yearly key rate from 2 to 1.75%. The last cut was just five months ago, and it's the first time the rate has dipped to the 1% range. The record low rate is attributed to sluggish economic recovery. 
물가 상승률도 더욱 낮아질 것으로 예상되어서 이번 달에 기준금리를 0.25%포인트 인하하는 것이 바람직하다고 판단하였습니다. In fact, consumer spending and facility investment both shifted to negative growth this year. Inflation has also recorded minus growth in actuality, excluding the tobacco price hike. Exports have also dropped for two months straight, partly due to lower global oil cost. Global banks and institutions are therefore cutting their growth outlook for the Korean economy. Finance Minister Choi Kyung-hwan has vowed best efforts to boost domestic demand, saying the rate cut will help economic recovery and overcome low inflation. Accidents caused by driving under the influence of alcohol continue to occur across the nation, and many are caused by repeat DUI offenders. Here's a look at how dangerous it can be. A passenger car all of a sudden crosses over a sidewalk and crashes into a restaurant with customers inside. An SUV slammed into two passenger cars waiting at a traffic light, injuring two people. All these accidents were caused by people driving under the influence of alcohol. Over 1,202,000 cases of DUI were recorded over four years since 2010. More than 40 percent of them were caused by repeat offenders. A simulation test showed that while driving at a speed of 60 kilometers an hour, a sober driver was able to respond swiftly enough to avoid running into children who were jaywalking. However, the driver with a simulated blood alcohol content of 0.1 percent ended up in an accident. The car keeps crossing over the lanes and even onto pedestrian walks. Eventually, it hits the jaywalking children. 음주운전 시에는 그 시력 저하, 반응 시간 지연, 판단력 둔화, 여러 가지 행동상의 문제들이 발생하게 됩니다. Between 2010 and 2013, the average annual number of deaths in DUI accidents surpassed 700, while the number of those injured exceeded 50,000. People who report illegal conduct such as improper garbage dumping to authorities receive a modest cash prize. But there are reports of abuse related to this reward system. The Korea Fair Trade Commission has exposed a cram school luring would-be paparazzi whistleblowers and advertising false hopes of earning big cash. A person secretly throws away garbage. Others illegally recruit credit card membership on the streets. These are videos of illegal conduct filmed by the so-called paparazzi who are exclusively after lawbreakers to receive prize money from authorities. Even an academy has appeared to supposedly nurture paparazzi, advertising that with the right skills of photography and filing reports, one can earn more cash rewards. This school, uncovered by the Fair Trade Commission, lured students this way. On its homepage, postings believed to be written by students are seen gushing about the ingenious way to make money. But an investigation by the FTC found that the postings were all fake, put up by school officials. The staff even fooled students by charging them money for so-called citizen watchdog certificates. Students were duped into believing the certification had actual official power. The FTC has directed correction orders on the school and cautioned the general public to be aware of cheap filming equipment sold at steep prices. Spring is finally in the air and Koreans are looking forward to seeing cherry blossoms which are expected to bloom one to three days earlier than usual. On Jeju Island, the flowers will blossom at the end of this month, while here in Seoul, we'll likely see them around April 9th. Despite the chilly weather, you can already catch the scent of spring on Jeju Island, with cherry blossoms blooming earlier than in previous years. Bees sip nectar from the light pink blossoms after a long winter. The alluring apricot tree blossoms catch the eyes of tourists.
어제까지 추워서 걱정을 많이 했는데 오늘 날씨가 너무 좋아서 이렇게 예쁜 꽃도 보고 음, 따뜻한 햇살도 보고 음, 봄이 온 거를 느낄 수 있어서 너무 좋았어요. Cherry blossom trees are set to bloom across the nation, starting with Jeju Island around March 24th. In Busan, they will bloom around March 28th, and in Gwangju around April 1st. Seoul and the central region will see cherry blossoms around April 9th. It's about six days later than last year, but one to three days earlier than usual. Meteorologists say that cherry blossom trees may bloom sooner than expected because the weather in early April is expected to be warm. The newly designated K-Star Road will soon open in the Apgujung and Cheongdam neighborhoods, where Korea's top talent agencies are clustered. The street will feature large art installations modeled after K-pop stars and aims to become a must-see tourist destination for Hallyu fans. Korea's big talent agencies, such as JYP and SM Entertainment, are clustered in the Cheongdam and Apgujung neighborhoods in Seoul. The area is always crowded with Hallyu fans, eager to spot their favorite K-pop stars. Every time we see idols are on TV and they are dancing uh, in front of us, singing and dancing, but we want to see what is like the back and stage inside. So. Figures of characters representing K-pop stars have been erected in the Apgujung neighborhood. The nearby one-kilometer stretch of road has been turned into K-Star Road to attract more fans to the area. The street is lined with 11 art toys featuring the characteristics of Korean stars like Girls Generation, EXO, and Super Junior. Nearby boutiques and restaurants frequented by Korean stars will also be advertised to provide a wide variety of Hallyu tourism products to choose from. A few of the scenes in the upcoming Hollywood superhero flick The Avengers 2 were filmed right here in Seoul last year to much fanfare. We can already see a few of the Seoul scenes in the trailer as we await the film's April release in Korea. People who look to the sky. A combat jet acrobatically zips through the tall buildings. The main character's dazzling action sequences are set against Korean signboards and familiar apartment complexes. This is the sole featured in the trailer of the Avengers sequel slated for release in April. 전에 회사 앞에서 촬영을 한 것도 같이 옆에서 좀 구경도 했는데 저는 그 영화 전 세계적으로 개봉되는 영화에 저희 나라가 실렸다는 거에 대해서 엄청난 기대를 하고 있고요. The filming of the Avengers 2 caused great sensation last year as the production team brought out huge filming equipment and closed off roads to film some scenes in Sangamdong and other parts of the city. The film portrays Seoul as a stylish, high-tech city, but it still contains props, such as a red rubber wash basin or a small dish antenna that only Korean fans can recognize. The production company is looking to win over Korean moviegoers by opening the movie a week earlier than North America, and sending the leading cast members to Korea for a publicity tour. When it comes to freshness and taste, March is the best season to eat fresh spring greens. Today, we introduce two appetite-stimulating and healthy vegetables called bangpung and mowi. Spring is already here, but yellow dust has come along with the new season, causing inconveniences and harm to South Koreans. The spring green bangpung or Siler divarkata grows inside a greenhouse. 
Although it belongs to the family of water parsley, Bang Pung has a stronger scent and more bitter taste than water parsley. Its name refers to the way the plant grows against the winds on rocky shores. Bang Pung leaves have been widely used in tea or as a medicinal ingredient. 기관지염 등을 치료하는 데 많은 효과가 있고 특히나 요즘처럼 황사나 미세먼지가 많을 때는 그것을 방어하는 작용을 길러주는 데도 많은 효능이 있습니다. Here are some recipes for dishes made with bang pung. After cleaning them, mix the leaves with sliced chestnuts and pumpkin and rice powder. Cook the mixture on medium heat for some 20 minutes. Fried bang pung leaves are also good. Dip bang pung leaves in batter and fry them in oil. It's quite simple. Rolls of bacon in bang pung leaves are a good choice for children. Growing on hills or near wetlands, mowi or butterbur is known to be the best among spring greens. It's rich in fiber, vitamins A and B, and calcium. 네, 이 무위는 예로부터 관동이라는 약재로서 많이 사용되어져 왔습니다. 이 근위 효과가 있어서 위장을 튼튼하게 해주고 몸에 있는 가래를 삭혀주고 해소 천식을 없애주는 데 탁월한 효능이 있습니다. Medium-sized mowi is the best to cook and eat. Boil the plant slightly and season it with a hot pepper paste based sauce. Maui also tastes nice in fried snacks known as jun. Sweet sour Maui pickles are also a good natural appetite stimulant. After surviving the bitter cold, spring greens are full of nutrients and taste. Bang Pung and Maui will help protect your health from the attacks of yellow dust. An uninvited seasonal guest. Now let's take a look at the markets, followed by the world weather. And that's it for this edition of News Today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again on Monday. Have a great weekend. Goodbye.